Hi everyone, I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati. In today's episode, I'm going to tell you the best India Hikes treks that are suited for children. Now, there's a reason I'm making this video. Over the past couple of years, we have noticed this increasing trend of families trekking together along with their children. Now, for us, there's nothing better than this because you know that we believe that everyone must trek and everyone includes children because children especially are in their formative years, especially those between 8 to 12 or even a few years beyond that. And if they trek, they learn a lot from the outdoors. And especially when they trek with their families, the entire dynamics also change. Now, if you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you are planning to take your child on a trek, which is wonderful. But uh, what I want to tell you is that not all treks are suited for children. At India Hikes, we've marked out certain treks as suitable for children based on a few criteria. And that's three points that you must know. The first is the number of daily hours of trekking. Now, there are treks where you have four hours of trekking per day. You also have treks where there are 10 hours of trekking per day. But for children, you want something that is not too easy and it's not too difficult either. You need that challenge that makes you feel that sense of accomplishment. So for children, we mark out treks where every day you cover between four to six hours of trekking. It very rarely goes beyond this. Um, maybe a summit day or something where you might climb for seven hours or so. But almost all the treks that we have marked out, you cover just around four to six hours of trekking every day. Now in the mountains, distances don't matter that much because a lot of parents ask me how many kilometers do you cover? Because even two kilometers can be very deceiving when you are climbing uphill. So we usually mark out the number of hours and not kilometers. The second criteria is that the trek must have a good amount of variety. Now, when we're taking children, especially in their formative years, we want them to get exposed to different elements of nature and the outdoors. Um, and for us, this is very important because one of our big outcomes is that they connect to nature and by the end of it, actually feel like they want to protect and care for the environment around them. So that variety is important. So all the texts that we have marked out have a little bit of forests, they have grasslands, they have uh, mountains that you get to see around you, they have a sense of adventure as well. So this variety is very important when you're taking a child trekking. The third point uh, is a little bit of a practical thing that exit needs to be very easy. So if you're taking a young child who's around eight or nine years old, they could feel tired because it's something they've never done before. They could feel so tired or they could fall sick. So for us, exit in case of an emergency is very important and easy exit is important. Within two hours, we need to be able to evacuate the child from the trail. So we choose trails where this is possible as well. So these are the only three things we look at when we choose treks for children and I want to recommend some of them to you so that you can plan out your trek with your child. So the first and foremost trek that I always recommend, it's a go-to trek, especially for families with children who are just around 8 to 10 years old, is the Dayara Bugyal trek. Now Dayara Bugyal starts from this beautiful village called Raithal, so you have this very nice village exposure as well. Then you go through beautiful oak forests and then to these grand meadows. That experience within 2-3 days is something you'll not get on any other trek. And this trek climbs very gradually and is easy on the legs. So most children usually start off with the Dayara Bugyal trek. And beautiful thing is you can do it at many different times of the year. So you can time your trek anytime. So choose Dayara Bugyal, especially if your child is below 10 or above 8 years old. Now, most of the other treks I'm going to recommend are for children who are above 10 years old because they have some slightly long days or they may have a slightly more challenging summit climb. So these are for children who are above 10. So the next trek is the Dioryatal Chandrashila trek. This is again a very beautiful trek with a lot of variety and especially if you go in springtime, you will see beautiful rhododendrons on this trek and there's a lovely lake. You camp very close to the lake. So early morning you come to the lake, you see birds, you see lots of uh, trees and flowers around you. So that itself is a very nice experience and then you top it off with a climb to Chandrashila. So that summit climb itself is very rewarding when suddenly 360 degree views open up to you. So for a child that's like even for adults, it's a very big deal and for a child, it's even more so. So, Dioryatal Chandrashila is the next one. The third trek I would recommend is the Kedarkantha trek. Now, Kedarkantha is very popularly known as a 
winter trek in our country. But what most people don't know is that at all other times of the year also it is extremely beautiful and is suitable for children. Because that summit climb to Kedar Kantha is very rewarding. And I think Kedar Kantha has a few of the prettiest campsites where children can actually camp in the middle of these clearings in the heart of forests and they get this very nice forest exposure. So our team also facilitates the experience based on what surroundings they are in. So Kedar Kantha makes for that very nice um, experience within a forest camping over there and then climbing to a summit. The fourth trek I would recommend is the Kuari Pass trek. Now this is again for children who are above 10 years old because the final climb to Kuari Pass is kind of challenging but on this trek again you have a lot of variety and you have this very grand exposure to the big mountains of our country. So if that's what you want to give your child then Kuari Pass is the trek to do. You also have the uh, charming forests then you have this Gorsom Bugyal that you camp in so that also makes for a very uh, lot of variety on that trek as well. And the final trek that I would recommend is the Ali Bedni Bugyal trek. Now, Ali Bedni Bugyal, I think, is one of the most underrated treks in our country because Ali Bedni has, you start off from this beautiful village and then you enter these forests which are hardly touched and you camp in the heart of these forests. And from the forests, you suddenly enter the Ali and Bedni Bugyal, uh, which are the meadows. They are beautiful alpine meadows and you have these mountains, Trishul and Nanda Ghunti, just popping out of them. So, sunsets, sunrises on these treks are very beautiful and it can really trigger a child's imagination like nothing else can. So I would highly recommend these five treks to choose from. If your child is slightly older, maybe above 11 or 12 years old, you could also do the Bhrigu Lake and Biaskun treks in Himachal Pradesh. Um, these are four day treks, uh, slightly more challenging because you're climbing to around 14,000 feet. Most of the other treks I mentioned climb to around 12,000 feet. So if your child is fit, maybe very sporty and slightly older, then I would recommend the Biaskun and Bhrigu Lake treks. So these are the treks I would recommend for uh, children to do and uh, definitely children also must get on a fitness routine before doing these treks and our experience coordinators will be in touch with you to kind of guide you through the whole process but that entire preparing for a trek itself is a very nice process that fa brings families together so I hope you enjoy that process too. If you have any questions, if you need personal guidance on which trek to choose for your child you can drop in a comment below and we'll get back to you. You could also write to me on TWS at IndiaHikes.com and I'll help you out. Uh, if you have trekked with your child and you want to share your experience, please do that in the comments. I think a lot of other parents are very anxious to know how it is to trek with a child. So that will really help. So we'll be back with more soon on how to prepare children for a trek and also what are best times to trek with children. So make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon next to it so that you're notified of our next videos. We'll be back with more. I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati.